We've all heard the stories. Whoever seeks the Golden City never returns. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't scare that easy. They talk about the unknown, but the unknowns never dealt with us. The toughest bunch of lying, stinking thieves this world's ever seen. No matter who or what gets in our way, every single time we come through. Remember Scarlet Pete? He outran the jaws of death. Nearly. What about Morgan Moxley using her head like that? Who knew she'd be such a natural at diplomacy? And even that mutinous dog, Bedlam Boggs. I personally made sure he was first to lay hands on our plunder. But enough talk. Let's show this island what we're made of. So raise them high, lowlife. It's time to brave the unknown. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Well, so good from wherever around. in the world you're watching from, my name is George the Fairhouse Maria, and of course, joining me today is Jamie, old reliable Rodriguez, and John. He had 99 problems, but then he put a ring on it, May. Um, <laughs> yeah, I put my finger in the ring. Yeah, I know. Anyway, welcome to the Ixalan pre release for Midday at Athena Games. I got photos. I came up with those names games. in the shower this in last night. You're thinking about me in the shower? Yep. Um, I was trying to think of a good name for you, and then your wife appeared in my think. head. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm trapped in a corner. You know, you know, you've mentioned way. my wife. She's going to have to watch the stream, and unfortunately, you mentioned it right at the beginning, so she doesn't have to watch three hours of the stream. I'm going to point keep mentioning, mentioning her, <laughs> just so she has to watch the whole thing. The last thing I'm going to say about on today's broadcast is going to be about your lovely wife. Um, no, but now she's just going to skip to the end. Well, then she's going to miss all the bits in the middle. She doesn't care about magic. Oh no, I should, I'm going to keep mentioning her. I'm just going to relate everything to her. Anyway. I've got some pictures. Um, I've got them as well. Um, so, you played the Prudis yesterday. Apparently I did. I like how we've both started leaning on the table, just like, hmm, mm -hmm. talk show. I'm staying out of this some. Yeah, I did, okay, I did okay, play the Prudis. So, this is, here. this is this, John's Prudis deck, which we were just shouting at Jamie about. Well, John was shouting about Jamie. I wasn't shouting. Yes, you were. Um, I'm going to have some Pepsi Max, not sponsored. I've just drunk him two Red Bulls. <laughs> and a Starbucks Are Frappuccino. Are you allowed to Red Bull? Would it not kill you? Oh, sounds so good. Sugar free. Yeah. So yeah, so have a look at my pool. Yeah, it's there. And we'll see there. what you think. How can I open it? Yeah, you can open Why? it. Why? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, welcome everyone. Let me just find the chat. There it is. Right. Um, thank you very much to Gold Squadron Podcast for hosting us. Who? Gold Squadron Podcast. It's an next wing thing. Oh, is it? It's just the X-Wing thing. So there is some... What's, what's this? What's this deck That's the thing of how to make a deck. Uh, that's the bit I ignore every Which, time. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah oh, that's, okay. that's where you guys keep doing so badly. Where I'm wrong, yeah. Is that the bit where it says, you know, get a balance of creatures and lands? Play lands. So there's all the stuff that didn't make the cut, top of which is Spell Piss. Oh, we got the thing to show, like, which seems correct. Oh, uh, yeah, give me a moment. Spell Piss on the top because I sideboarded it in in the last game. So you are looking blue, green... A folky couple of big things. Talk us through it, John. Well, what have you got? Oh, yeah. Oh, cheeky. 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 It's not very good. Cheeky um, Jace Cunning Castaway. So, a lot of people tried to force um, silly things. Well, dinosaurs or pirates or merfolk. So, just a quick aside Reese's, the person Reese's sat next to it, his previous over in Dutchland. Yeah. Has eleven good pirates, the lightning bolt land, and seven removal spells. Oh, nice. I so see a winner. I decided. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I decided to go a slightly different route of play good, seeing things. what's good, and then playing good things. Um, there is an underlying theme in the deck of like plus one, plus one counters. Yeah. Um, because I did manage to open the Herald of Secret Streams. Yeah. Which is a four mana two three. Yeah. And you do and creatures with plus one, plus one can't be blocked. Yeah. Which is great, but I only cast him once and instantly got removed. 
That's um, pretty useful. One with the wind uh, is an all star, which is a blue. One and a blue. A child of creature gets plus two, plus two, and has flying. Yeah. Um, if you put that on a six six dinosaur, things start to get a bit silly. Yeah. Yeah. That's a winning move. Uh, I got a Jace. It's rubbish. I only played it because it's Jace. He looked really quite bad. To me. No, I think he's better than everyone thinks, but mostly in constructed. Yeah. Um, another yeah, yeah. No, I'm talking just yeah. purely for the sealed. sealed. He most looks pretty pretty bad. Bad. Really? Another good card was just Depth of Desire, which would turn creature to its owner's hand. You get a treasure token. Um, for three mana, instant speed. Yeah. Um, so it's quite good to ping things off, and it basically only costs you two. Help me with colour fixing a <coughs> bit as well. Yeah. Because yeah. the ping a thing back, get a treasure, make a dude. Yeah. Um, so the one with the wind. Then you've got the green. Oh, room. wow. Sorry. Just looking through John's pool, and he's got two Ashes of the Abhorrent. Yeah, I didn't that play that. Oh, wow. wow. No, it's not yeah. even exile. It's just you can't cast spells from graveyards. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And whenever it does, you gain life. It's like it's I not even graph diggers. It's, That's it's bad. worse. <clears throat> it's a worse graph diggers cage and yeah. just a bad card overall. Yeah. Um, so I've got like there's, there's three different pursue. fight cards. Yeah, loads yeah. of um, fight. So I played all the fight cards in green. Um, Storm sculptor was also really really good. Four mana, three two. Yeah. Uh, tap down a creature and it doesn't untap in the next turn. That was yeah. really good. Uh, Shipwreck is Looter, uh, one in the blue. That really didn't do anything. That was just filling out the curve. Yeah. Um, curve filler. Another all star for me was Emergent Growth. Uh, three and a green. Creature gets plus five, plus five, and has to be blocked this turn. Yeah. That's pretty good. Um, it is super fantastic when your creature has a plus one, plus one hunter and can't be blocked, or is flying, or is trampled six, six dinosaur and becomes an 11, 11 trampled dinosaur. Yeah. Um, that won me games. Um, yeah. quite hard I can see yeah. that um, pretty good Excellence Diviner um, basically it has Explores Explores is a fantastic mechanic didn't realise until I played with it yesterday yeah I really split really good. on it I think it depends no you play with it and you realise no I think there's some some of them with Explore look brilliant that's one of the ones I like and some yeah. of them are a bit underwhelming the black guy who can repeatedly explore yeah. exile and cards from graveyard he looks insane yeah, I like he, him yeah but Explore actually was, was good to just just good yeah. Uh, then I've got the Explore, oh, three yeah, mana, right. one, blue, Siren Lookout, one for two, Explores, it's a flyer, there's a sort of a curve fill out thing. Um, another all-star in my deck was Shapes of Nature, which is a merfolk, one, a green and a blue, three, yeah. three, pay four, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature, pay three, remove a plus one, plus one counter, draw a card. Yeah. Um, so late game, when you are either mana flooded or you're trying to pump up your board, um, also good with the blue merfolk that plus one plus one counter makes them unblockable yeah. um, it's fantastic I mean you pay seven draw a card but if you're not doing anything else with your mana yeah yeah why not um, actually that's not the explore dude I thought it was that's the 0-3 no, one that's the 0-3 uh, uh, yeah. Pounce it's another fight card mm -hmm. yeah um, and Trance Melody was kind of funny it's not the greatest card because it's an X two and a blue take control of target creature with I think that's X. good no that's that, a great card it's actually pretty good I stole quite a lot of um, funky things from a vampire lifelink deck um, that's, it. I mean, that, that's just a super good card. So, yeah, yeah. played that. It's well. just control magic, but situationally um, better. Yeah. I mean, it, I it lets another, you just do stuff. Yeah, so. I had another tap down, doesn't untap. Um, Deep Root Warrior, two mana, it becomes yep. a 3 3 when it's blocked. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a good big card. bear. Seems pretty good. Uh, a creature that killed many, many people was my Colossus Dreadmere. These were all over the shop, killing people all yeah, day. Yeah, that's common. Six mana, six, six with a trample at common. That's common. Um, hilariously. Put a 5-5, five, five, comes an 11-11. Pretty much hilarious. Pretty or, much game, I would have Or thought. make it an 8-8 eight, eight flyer. Yeah. It's pretty good as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, Walk of the Wilds, never cast it. Wanted to cast it. I think that's It's a great sweet. mana sick. I had it played against me. Um, yeah. And you got your shiny date stamp. Can, I, can I ask you a question? Who yeah. won last night? Well, I don't know. Uh, was it you? <laughs> it was you, wasn't it? No. No. Who was it? Yeah, it was me. Okay. Um, John, John won. <laughs> uh, Simon, of the, Simon of the Storm Tamer is a great 1-1 one, one little fly that everyone forgets about its ability. Yeah. yeah. So they keep trying to remove your stuff and you're like, I'm going to keep my 11-11 trampler, please. Yeah. Um, it's that's fantastic. Uh, Trisha's Wayfinder, three mana, two, two explores. Love explore. Um, Snappling Sailback was actually really quite funny. Um, it's a five mana four four, but it has flash, and every yeah. time it dealt damage, it gets a plus one plus one. Yeah, that uh, won me a game as well because my opponent thought I had an empty board, swung yeah. in, block, block he was on lead. five, <laughs> making bigger, <laughs> boom, kill him yeah. back. That's your um, It's pretty good. Uh, Shadowed Sweet. Caravel is a vehicle plus two plus two whenever you uh, yeah. explore. Hence, there's a few explore cards. Yeah. Great card, great great card. And last of all. Uh, Herald's Boom is just a plus one plus one on target creature and then you can put a plus one and plus one on the Merfolk yeah, yeah. which That's is really really good with, um, I will just play a Skyward Five game saying well done I'm winning yeah I dropped a game nice 
Yeah, they, they asked us why I asked you. So, but so you looked real smug as I started asking <coughs> you, and I was like, John won. So, what people may not know is when you win, you get, you get a winner's purse. I know. Well, you get and two the, boulder cases. I don't know, I haven't, I haven't looked. You the get box. two boulder cases, some sleeves, Shall and we have a deck a look box. Now? The hard yes. box is actually pretty Let's so cool. go back to the big view. So, I got my four boosters Woo-hoo. for Which, going undefeated. Yeah. Haven't been opened. Good. Then, what have I got? So, I got. You get. Some Pack supreme sleeves. Supreme sleeves. Yeah, supreme sleeves. sleeves. 80 supreme sleeves. Not sure I'm fast about sleeves. More sleeves. Can I have a quick feel of them? Because right. I've only touched the normal armor guys. So the they're boulder cases. Obsessively sleeves. Yeah, they're, boulder case. They're good. They're, they're good. really good. I, and you, you get two of those. Yeah. I believe. Oh, spoilers, George. Spoilers. And you get another deck box. There's another little deck box. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the uh, land art one. And then I've got and another boulder <coughs> box. Okay. Yeah. And I've got. I like these. These Some are good. Stickers? Yeah. Yeah. And sexy, no, these are sexy lanyard. Oh, the lanyard's new. And, uh, and the bag. Oh, it's an oh, ultimate guard lanyard. Yeah, so Everything these are the sleeves I thought they were. They are not very nice. It hasn't, it hasn't got, got a break got a, in it. So how much do they cost me, George? They cost you an entry to a Prudis and then yeah, effort to win. The value of my card paid for my Prudis. These, these are pretty good. They're yeah. pretty tough. I've put my Jihad deck in one of them, which is a deck I haven't played in 10 years and I've dropped it twice. Think about <laughs> don't, don't ask me how, but it's got, like, you know virtually how unbreakable. The matte sleeves have got a nice feel to them on the back. <coughs> Either Dragon Shield or... I only like matte sleeves. I don't like other sleeves. These but aren't quite matte backs. They're yeah. like... They're always good. You, know, mm. you always need drafting sleeves, don't you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, I still wouldn't use them for those. Oh, good. Are you, are you, they're, um, they look the rubbish thin. Ones. With the dot on them. That odd press. They, yeah. they feel like that on the back, but they're worse. They look thin. Can we point some out? I opened it and, and touched the back to make sure it was the one I thought it was. <laughs> Jihad deck. It sounds explosive, says Phil. So, some of the other... Oh, yeah, they changed the name um, on that. If you... Although, yeah. the one deck which I had the most sympathy with, the one I lost to, was the Vampire Lifelink deck. Yeah. Which is... That if you get thin. them, Yeah, they are nice. If you get the right cards in your pool and you can make that Vampire Lifelink deck... Yeah. You're just going to win all day. You ready? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. just... Like, turn it looks one, good. it just goes. So, you, you've played. I have. What cards are you excited to see play today? Um, <laughs> well, I... From from how it went yesterday, that Water Wilds thing, everyone had one of them. Yeah, oh, really? Well, they were all, all... That was, like, the most common rare I've ever seen in my life. Really? Um, I think there's going to be a lot... <laughs> the most common rare I've seen. What a <laughs> great... What a great statement. Yeah. Um... The I think the six six dinosaur is going to do work today. Um, Which one's that one? Is it the multi coloured one? No, single colour one. The, the green, two the green, green one. four oh, six, yeah, six yeah, trample. Forgotten his name. Uh, colossal dread. That's it. Dread. The, the common. Um, yeah, the common one. But if anyone managed to get the mythic one, then they pretty much won the previous. You mean, you mean carnage, the carnage tyrant? Yeah. That is an insane card. Can't be countered. Hexproof trample. Trade to the common seven, six. and a seven six. Tra- yeah, if you don't Can I point out though, okay, one of my favourite things I saw was the size comparison of creatures. Which was like the Onakami, which is like one of the greatest beings on Kamigawa 6-6. Six, six. Iona, created by the Eldrazi as an angel, 7-7. Seven, seven. Avacyn, protector of Innistrad, which is an 8-8. Eight, eight. However, they are all completely outclassed. Oh, this card is great. By one old boy. Um, let me just find it very quickly. I'm pointing out I'm quite I can't quite see what I'm looking for. But is it the nine nine? Yeah, the the nine nine ancient Brontosaurus. There it is. Who is more powerful than any of the previously named creatures? <laughs> Avacyn, no worries, mate. I got this. I'm old. <laughs> um, I also think Varaska is massively overpowered in this as well. Um, I think she's really really good uh, in all formats. Um, which is surprising mm. that Jace is more. Oh, she's multicolored, isn't she? Yeah, which is more is more expensive, but that's probably just because he's Jace. No, it's because Blue Planeswalker is always entirely underrated. Yeah. But she is really good. She's good in limited and standard. Yeah, that, that'll be it. We don't really care about modern, but um, we do. Yeah, so I think <laughs> she's really really good. Um, what else we got? I think that's good. I quite like the look of um, who I, I like play. this. That's a good card. This card makes me want to play standard. That card makes you win standard, surely. Yeah, it's you just play it and minus three it and kill things. I would play standard, but I want to give standard players a notch chance. So. 
We have a, a top eight UK player at the moment in playing standard here at the moment. That's cool. He's about to start playing modern. <laughs> No, the last time I played standard, I won a PPTQ. Yeah, you, I didn't play standard playing, before, right? You were playing Mardi Vehicles, which I, is, again, back to <laughs> let's play what's on curve. I legitimately didn't know what was in my deck. You don't until have to, I you just it. play what you can play. No, I, I drew a card and was like, I play that. It was a land. Yeah. Um, other <laughs> cards, other cards are good. Um, so there's some sweet multicolour cards. What What was your worst? You, 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 what was your top three bad guys in this deck? What What was the stuff you really think, were not happy to see? I don't think. What if I drew it? Bad yeah. Not, I mean, uh, it seems pretty well, sweet. Yes. Yeah. That the shipwreck looter. He was not a, he seen, was a long curve. Yeah, it's just a curve. And he's because he's a two man. He's a piker. He's fine. That was fine. That blocked up for days. Yeah, as a one four blocker. Yeah, one four blocker. Yeah. Even an O three gave me a land. It was uh, fine. A risk of going entirely off topic. Does the chat have any cards they're looking forward to that we can entirely demean? And Jace. And Jace, yeah. Uh, the only value I got from Jace was having him on the board and his opponent, my opponent freaking out and attacking him for two turns instead of me. That's, That's good. Which That's what Planeswalkers do. That's yeah, they don't, what they're they to don't do. do that. Someone has to actually think. But he ah. didn't really, apart from that, just... No, no, that's what they do. They make people go, ah. Because like, they read their abilities and go, oh, God. Yeah, yeah but he was like, oh, that. if one of your creatures does damage, you get to uh, loot. And I was like, yeah, but we're in a board stall, so. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, but if you have to hold them, you get to do it three times. And you're like, yeah. Yeah, I don't have doubling season where I can go infinite. <laughs> that's hilarious. I'm going to make seven million Jaces, please. <laughs> mm hmm. Sadly, that's not going to do anything. So that you, I've got several million Jaces. Sorry, Sam, I'm going to have to give you a little game loss for not progressing your board state. No, you make seven million, then you make fourteen million, and then you minus two them all. Okay. And then you have fourteen million two two creatures. Hopefully, you have some way of giving them haste. Or you know, you, you will <laughs> you, you will have been game lost before you do that. Why? Because you haven't progressed the board state by making those Jaces. Nothing has changed. Yeah, it was because you want to make loads of two two. No, no, no. Creatures. Nothing has changed. You're getting game lost if you make if you do that five or six times. Same as me playing Four Horsemen in Legacy. You have not progressed your board state. You're yeah, you not have. making you're not making changes to the game. All well, you're well, doing you're is about to kill your opponent. All you're That's doing definitely is, making no, all change. you're doing is playing with yourself. Yeah, but if the ultimate thing is to kill your opponent in that turn, then surely You don't kill them in that turn. Yes you do. They have haste. You can give them haste. How? Or you can just have a massive board state that your opponent can't beat. In the time it's taken you to get there. You're not you gonna know. sit there seven million times going You are. You can't say I'm going to do this, and because it's not a provable loop, you are not progressing the board it's state. A loop. No, it's not. You might as well just loop. not. So you get game loss for playing Storm every time. No, because, because you're just playing against yourself. No, because Storm <laughs> is changing the game state, and they draw cards and other things like that. However, they are I'm not making progressing tokens. the board state. But all you're it's, doing is making how? more. If you play four horsemen, it's the same. If I sat there and just con constantly made tokens and tokens without doing anything, that's a game loss still. And it's slow play. Oh, that's rubbish. I don't believe that. Mm. We'll ask a judge. Well, it's a shame that, you know, <laughs> the highest judge in Norwich is here. We'll ask a real judge. <laughs> I'm an exemplar of the judge community. <laughs> uh, one thing, oh yeah, one thing people to be aware of, there has, is an errated card in this set. Errated? Uh, errated. 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 So it doesn't actually do what it says on the card. What card is that? That is the red one. That oh. narrows it down. Go at the top, that's it. It's the one, uh, I think it's something pirate. Um, scroll down. The Rowdy Crew. No, scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. What? That one. Captivating Crew. No, Captain Long. One, oh, one. Lannery Storm. I think it's that one. The one with haste. Two two haste. No, uh, not that one. Treasure. No, not that one. I was gonna say what could keep going. Possibly be on that. Is it that one? Angrath's Marauders. It's the one that comes in and it can bounce any creature on the field. It has to bounce a creature on the field, and it basically made an infinite loop. So they had to errat it. That is not how that word is spelt or pronounced. And if you keep saying it like that, you failed English at school. Yeah, I did. Errat it. Good. Right. Oh, we missed it because it's not an uncommon. It's a rare. It might be a mythic, to be fair. It's a what? Can't tag or block the lane. No, it's no. not that one. It's not that one. It comes in and bounces a card. It comes in and it has to bounce one. another it's not creature. That one. Does everybody out it's there know this? Yeah. Morning. Who is your feature streamer today? Do they know? I don't actually know. <laughs> go choose! I'm trying to talk about a card. Do you, J Jamie, do you want to go choose someone? I can go and find a victim. <laughs> we need to look at the errated card. I'm curious that. as to which one it is. 
Which one? Hostage, hostage taker. taker. That's it. Give me a sensible it's hostage taker. Cool. It's not a rare. Control F. Not how that works. Yeah, it makes an infinite, infinite move. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't because they've rotted it. <laughs> That's what I mean. But if you read it off the board, it doesn't. It oh, it's multicolored. It Sorry. Great, thank you. <laughs> there you go. It's not even red. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so it's when hostage taker enters the battlefield, exile target artifact or creature until hostage taker leaves the battlefield. You may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. Uh, basically, it's changed it to say it has to be another target creature, and yeah, and you now yeah. may cast it instead of you have to cast it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's the same as Marath. So it's really good. Fine. Yeah. Because it freaked everyone out when they printed it because no one had noticed it. Because if it enters... I, I entirely remember seeing that card and realising what they're going to do with it. Because yeah. the same as Marath, Caller of the Wild. Until which is the... Did that get erected as well? So it was... It's one of the Commander cards. So it's red, white, green for a naught naught, And it's with X counts on equal to mana spent to cast it. Yeah. And then it had the ability X. Like, deal X damage... Like you have to remove counters. Mm -hmm. And it was like, you make an elemental. But the way it's written, you can make X is zero. So you could just infinitely trigger death triggers. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's kind of like turn three win. Yeah. So that is like, it's instant arrived before release to be X cannot be zero. I'll tell you one card that killed my opponent. That as a black mythic. Uh, right. Orc. I can't remember who we've had before. I have selected James. 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 Slater. Oh, Fantastic! Okay. He's not been on camera before. Well, he probably has. I didn't not think he'd been as, not as on a builder. camera building before, and he's a good limited yeah. player. Good, good player. Full stop. But um, he did all right yesterday. You went two one. There Specialised he is. in limited. showing off the special Joe's tokens, which are now valid and available for purchase downstairs. Why were they not valid and until you, they're available for purchase? You guys reached the no, conclusion. No, they're not valid for um, like buying them and stuff. I find like you can get them without being Joe, like knowing Joe and being like. Joe, I uh, need some tokens. That's how I used to get. You <laughs> can just purchase them. Also, it's more I'm responsible for the lifelink walrus. Why it's rubbish? Because when we got the first tokens made, and I needed vampires for sorry and modern, I was like, I need two two flying vampires, and they look they just had like tusks instead of like little fangs. They were like on a human, they'd be down to like here, and I was like, they're flying walruses. So now vampires are walruses. And he's wearing a top hat. And it's awesome. It does look, yeah. And he's wearing a cloak, so a little cape. Yeah, a little walrus cape. So yeah. And there, I think he's. Is he also selling on his own website or online? Not sure yet. I think he I is selling something coming up. up. Yeah, but he's just creating. I'm sure at some point we'll have Joe on camera. Is he here today? Yeah, yeah, he definitely is. He's out there begging you to actually stay focused on topic and stick to magic. No. <laughs> What's wrong I with don't you? Know. I don't know. I think he's not noticed how our streams end up, but yeah. What's all the clapping? That's probably... Oh, they're they're like saying, like, oh, here's an attendance number. There we go. So, yeah. Cool. I knew it was going to go well. You've I've done the whole hostage taker thing then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Completely fine. As someone pointed card. out, it's a blue-black card. Yeah. Yeah. George, who are you texting? Uh, the Madrid chat saying I'll send over my passport photo and my passport information in a minute, end of it when I get mm. at like 10 o'clock at night. Um, there was a player last night who was playing the uh, Treasures deck. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. The one tries to make 10 to kill you. Really? It went 2-1. Two, two, Not bad. Had one loss. Yeah, I mean, like, it's a Good kind of... It'll, it's a deck that will just... Probably get there if you can store one. It was the, it, the I think the reason he went for it is he also he went mono black, and he just had a stonking removal sweep. Ah, uh, yeah, the removal looks insane. Uh, yeah, I think he had two it's of those everywhere. kill Four everything colors. that isn't a merfolk. Whoa, not bad. Two mana. You walk speed. the plank. Oh, uh, look. Yeah, so, the walk the planks, grand. There's actually some fairly decent removal. In it. There's the four mana basically yeah, the exiling thing. heroes down, down four. Yeah, and gain two life, yeah. Yeah. which is just brutal. Yeah, there's a lot of good ones. I'm, it's looking super good for removal. James is looking pensive. Well, he, he did play last night, so he's probably... Well, to be fair, he works in the NHS, so he doesn't sleep anyway. So Yeah, and he doesn't get paid. He gets paid, he just doesn't get paid enough. 
So you got some good. Not to get political about it at all. You got some good black cards, but yeah, sorry, to steer clear. Yeah, it's. I, look, I was looking through it. And I was like, you has got, got a pretty solid pool, like, Yeah, it's a bit of green. Deathless ancient. Yeah, you got some good. You got some good. I mean, well, I was looking through all you going through it, and I was like, I can see why you didn't play these colours, but that's I my favourite card. What rate of the royal? royal. Yeah. Just in terms of two of them. What a flavour yeah. and I just I think that's a great card. Yeah, you have. You got two. Yeah. In terms of flavour, though, I think that's that's a win for me. Yeah, I like right. One damage to target cool. creature. It gains trample till the end of. Turn. It's only you controlled as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, you get to draw a card. It's sweet. It's and if ready, they're, so if they're enraged, then you yeah. are laughing. Oh, there's some fantastic enraged quality cards in the set, though. Yeah, yeah. enraged is a really really good Hearthstone mechanic. Yeah, there's the one that. You know, there's a ramp one, there's the draw one, the just the make it big one. I think dinosaurs in standard are going to be a thing. Yeah, there is a yeah. That's what if I wanted to play standard, I'd be building a nine mid range deck. Yeah, totally. they're not dinosaurs, but in mid range because Glorybringer is the best five drop in standard. I mean, it's the only one that comes close is Regisaur Alpha, and that's nowhere near as good as a Glorybringer. But yeah, no, the the I think there's going to be quite a few little dinosaur people running around. Little dinosaur people. Do you mean dinosaurs? Big yeah, dinosaurs. Well, they, they also tend What's to that be four four? The uh, regular alpha. Regisaur alpha. Oh, that's yeah. the regisaur. That's the one that when it ETBs, you make a 3-3 three, three, and all dinosaurs have haste. Oh. Well, other also, dinosaurs have haste. The so. best thing about the dinosaur deck uh, is it's got so much ramp in it as well. E Colossal amounts of ramp. So you're just spewing out dinosaurs like at least mm. two, three turns before you should be. I don't know. I think you just don't go to like Gishath. You probably don't play the seven man dinosaur. Mm, I, I wouldn't or if you do he's eight. One. I think he's 8 mana that I is yeah, yeah. I, I, I accidentally meant the Carnage Titan as well. yeah I wouldn't touch no. him I'd, yeah, I would play the Carnage I'd play 2 Titan. Carnage Titan in the main and 2 on the board just in case anyone's stupid enough to play control who is that Kyle can't tell from above morning Kyle we've said 3 I times I think Kyle did it right last night as well that is James it's James Slater James Slater Slater I'm from like who, who have we got kicking so, around? So we've got Skyfire Star Games. Games. You know, other shop in Norfolk, other big shop. Uh, Fausch is Phil. Oh, yeah, Phil. I uh, yeah. don't know who Hoggist oh, is. I know who works there. Really? Yeah, we I've all met do. Him. He's nice. Which one? <laughs> huh? Which one of them? Patrick. Patrick. Pouncer. Mouncer, who Pouncer. works in the oil industry. Wow. Cool. And then Kyle is. Kyle on a mission is. Kyle. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Got that. <laughs> no. James, do something, James. Dance or something. Oh, he's been rolling dice. Yeah, he's been selling. He's fiddling with his he's tokens. Bored, he's moved his tokens into a different order. Are they his or the store put them out? I believe they're his. The was, dinosaur is one more in the top. They're actually, like, the quality of them is really good. Yeah, he found a really good printer for them. Yeah. Uh, is it a business card printer or someone who actually. No, it's like an actual printing business. And Are he they... sent them a magic card and was like this. Is that this size? <laughs> so they match it to a magic card. <laughs> so you can sleeve them and everything. They're all the correct size. But can you imagine a Patrick corners. having to work so. with the public? Yes, I can, and it would I, be beautiful. I can, and I can <laughs> imagine him, <laughs> Phil. I can imagine Phil, thirty yeah. minutes later him no longer working with the public. What does Phil do? Phil, he's a restaurant manager. No, oh, is he? Yeah, I thought he was like, I, I don't know. What I, I know what I thought he did, but I can't say it on stream. <laughs> <laughs> There he is. <laughs> so, but does he? And then in your head, you're like, but you don't want to say that. <laughs> yeah. I thought he just looked not. cool. You're not wearing a hat. No, I'm not. Why? Because that's I'm good. Not. I forgot to put it on. Did right. you it? He's digging no, in. Sat He's, my thing. He's struggling. He didn't open hat. it with a special, easy open. You can section. open it. Open it. You can go. All right. This should be able to hear me actually because the door's open because we can hear them. Also, everyone with headphones is now deaf. Apologies. Uh, uh, Steve's in the chat. Steve who? Steve. Not all. Steve, Steve. Steve Newman. Newman. You got them you mixed up with Steve and Mark. Mark yeah. <laughs> they both work in the Aviva building. And it, both, and it ends with an N. It is morning ish, but yeah, it's, it's morning. You, you, you. Fine. I'm going to get my sleeping bag out. You've scored and, and Phil says that is what he does on the side. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it on the side. What's Kieran shouting? He's handing up. He's, he's away. Fine. And you may go. What's that? Oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> do you want me to make it a bit bigger? Right, a bit bigger for your eyes, old man? 
God, he's moving quickly. Is this is this on double time or something? And it just, oh, is that the guy's cradle? Like? That is guy's cradle. That is worth a lot of money. Uh, is it guy's is cradle? It? Yeah. Really? I don't think it's yeah. guy's cradle. Well, scroll scroll down to the artifacts. I cannot see. So actually, I have a feeling it is. Stage. Is it the? That looks like an artifact. Oh, that's the one. Treasure map? Is it not treasure map? Mm, no. I wouldn't say no. Oh, yeah. No, I think yeah, it no, is. It is. Yeah, it's, it's a treasure it's map. Thematic compass. It's a treasure map. Is that the one that turns into Black Lotus? It, no, it's thematic compass. It's I fine. think that's the compass. What does thematic compass do? That, that's the guy's cradle. Guy's cradle. That is yeah. good. So as always, we're going to have um, uh, an, an, an awful lot of... Is that... Yeah, and um, Gary's actually playing today. I know. So that's the issue. Where is Gary? Why well, the good news is we're Gary? going to have two people on camera. So when I'm not on camera, I'll probably just tell you what's happening, like last time. Where, where are you going? Well, I'll stand out there and message you on Facebook. He's got this in hand. Oh, that just sounds so much effort. Oh, he got a Jace. <laughs> it does. Hey, Ed, well. Don't play it. Mythic. Oh, it depends on how what his blue's like. Yeah, it's still don't play it. He's going to play it. Is yeah, he? you play it because you I will bet you. No, so I will bet you right now. That he plays it. Yeah, of course he does. It's Jace, but he'll side it out. No, no, no. I love Jace. I'm betting you he plays that. it because he's James and he's put it in the playable pile. Might not cool, be. Cool, just got a phone call from Leeds. Oh, really? They're trying to sell you people. Surely he's separating um, dudes and spells. No, That's what I do. Playables and non playables. No, uh, yeah, he's doing the whole silly idea of playables and non playables without knowing what your colours are. Okay. No, it's interesting. I mean, he's... he's I mean, what I saw a lot of people at the GP doing playables. I'm not going to like, criticise Like, James. middle ground. Last and, like, time I criticised James on stream, okay. he didn't talk to me for, like, two weeks. True. But, you know, Todd thinks Gareth doesn't like him because Gareth doesn't talk to him. Gareth doesn't really talk to anyone. Yeah. I've got a picture of Gareth from the wedding and he looks well sexy. <laughs> Have you seen the picture of Todd being a proper physics teacher that I've got? No. Oh, I'll show you in a bit. How did the picture of me being strangled by a woman I've never met before come out? Oh, I got that on my phone. Is that all right? Is it? This is background. <laughs> uh, this is really good, just completely out of context. Uh, he's got a lot of blue. Yeah, his blue is super deep. Blue his is really red, good, actually. That once, is, blue is pretty good. That, I think, is the one who steals things, the red, like, repeatable act of treason. That's pretty good. That is a very good card. Cool but thing. I think the biggest downfall in this set is people forcing captivating driving. crew. Yeah, it's captivating crew. Because there were a few people that just like plummeted last night because they were just like, I just wanted to play pirates. And that's so, what Midnight Pre-releases are for. Yeah, but I'm like, well, you're not going to win if you just it's throw for, it's for the memes. Together. Winning the Midnight Pre-release is like winning a race against crippled children. No, it's not. Yes, it is. There's some good players. <laughs> <in> the <laughs> that's so not an appropriate comment. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, <laughs> Oh, you got another uh, flippy? Yeah, he knows this is the lightning bolt land. Uh, That's incredible. Oh, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. The so cannons. Think, it's outpost siege and then cannons or I'd something. say James is probably going to be leaning to... Nothing red. Nothing is better than blue, outpost siege. Maybe splashing a bit of green. Uh, I think if he's splashing... Who's that? It would uh, be Brendan. Black. I'm assuming that he's actually... Oh, he's yeah. off to football. Oh, Brendan. Hey off to boys, football? Good morning. Yeah, it's the football. Oh, my God. The football's on. I mean, Norwich have got to try and drag themselves back out of the championship for like the third time in seven years. That's what happens, isn't it? You just bounce up and down between the two. That's what Norwich do, yeah. Well, a lot of people do that, do not they? Until Leicester win it, right? I couldn't tell you. I mean, I support Newcastle. With I can it. talk about football. I have can no you? idea what I'm talking I, about. I know how to talk about it. I can talk about it. If you, as long as you sound like you know what you're talking that's about. One of the, that's one of the reasons I do so well at work. Because I sound like I know what I'm talking about. All you have to say is they just didn't want it enough. And then everybody knows. No, they, 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 <laughs> no they, just, they just work it around too often. That's it. That just sounds a bit sexual. Yeah. Don't do not do those eyes. <laughs> no, it really isn't an appropriate Someone's comment. Oh, no. No, I'm going to say it is. It's it, fine. It wasn't. It was so appropriate. It's so appropriate people don't know. I think, yeah, we've got a pretty solid red-blue pool based on the depth he's got. Maybe red-green, actually. But... <sighs> right. So, so he hasn't actually packs. unpacked the thaumatic compass. No. He's not playing it. If I, that's what it is. Well, and I can't remember it. what the other side of it does. Sky's Cradle. But it's not, is it? I thought that was the, the, the light rights green card. I, am I getting confused? I think you are. Maybe not. It, it Itimok or something. Oh, no, sorry. This is the Maze of Ith. That's right. It's the Maze of Ith. 
Sorry, it's the wrong legacy. How do you trigger the Maze of Myth? Uh, you have to have... At the beginning, beginning of your you have seven, oh, end step, seven or more lands. Okay, so that's not so great. That's not terrible. That's the thing on some of these, though. They're like... Yeah, jump you know, through hoops. The card's great, but the hoops you've got to jump through can be... Like the, the, reds, the red one is great, because it's just outpost siege when you cast the third spell of your turn. Yeah. The red one's like, generally good. There you go. But the, I think it costs quite a lot to do the land, don't it? And you have two to and a red. the land. No. It's just two and a red bolt. Well, oh. two and a red three damage. I tell you what, I didn't see. I didn't what? see any lightning strikes. No, they're going to be like a mythic common or whatever. Here's but they were last. They're time. uncommon. Yeah, well, they was the same as last time. They were never in the packs. So although when I did the it was M fifteen it was in wasn't it? I did the pre release there and I opened three. Yeah. He seems pretty set on the blue. He's pulling cool, there. His blue looks good. No, it wasn't in, in blue. And um, it wasn't. It was in Taurus. And which other one it was? In? It was Taurus. Because I was opening packs of Thurish trying to find lightning strikes and all I was opening was Elspeth and Xenagoses. It's great when people are absolutely excited about a two-mana lightning bolt, isn't it? It's a sign of what standards become when people have to get excited about it. What? Standard, standard. You weren't allowed two-mana red removal spells that were good. Mm. Well, once my bobs turn up, I've got my modern deck finished. Nice. Did you get Judge Primus? Cool. What are you playing? Uh, well, I've, what I've got is burn most of Tron, most of Jund and Eldrazi Taxes. Cool. I'm not going to play it. it. Just If I have it, no one else can play it. I can lend your bits and just play 8-rack every week because that seems to be where I'm headed anyway. How do anyway. you make that idea? Because if I leave them there, that's one less set of cards that someone else can use. Out of several Steve tens of cards. Steve says it's not it's Maze of Ith, but it's trying. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, relatable it's, to Maze of Ith. It's, it's like, not Maze of Ith. They aren't going to actually be the lands, but easiest way to pass it is yeah. to this. I mean, some of them are pretty close. I think that possibly the what is it well, Argoel's blood fast guys cradle is possibly is better than greed. Cradle. Yeah, that's a good card. No, is yeah, that yeah. Drazi and Taxes. I'm gonna that's, go. uh, that's my favourite. That looks, looks quite good. You don't want Bob in that deck. <laughs> it's gonna kill you. But I got cheap Bobs, so I'm not bothered. Even if I don't, they're always useful. Another thing, they're useful for Jund as well. Absolutely, they? yeah. So I wasn't gonna turn down some cheap Bobs. No, cheap Bob is good. I love Bob. So Bob, Reese, Bob Reese has lost that round over. one. Has he drunk yet? Oh, I'm not surprised if the guy's Oh, got... no, so he lost game one. He, no, he didn't play that guy. If the guy's got 11 he didn't pirates. Play that guy, no. Oh, right, okay. Uh, he's, his opponent was on three lands and doesn't have a spell. Uh, Reese had 12 lands and five spells. Wow. I'd be happy with like five pirates and a semi-coherent deck. So if someone's put together 11 pirates and then a bit of filler, then... He's, he's flipped a treasure map and Reese has him dead on board. His extra drawer is his one outer. So he legit just died. <laughs> no. I saw, I saw so I, I said to Reese keep his update so we can update his fans on stream. So Reese is currently 0 and 1, which means half of his fans have suddenly just disappeared. <laughs> but um, no, I was, I was watching Todd play Eldrazi and it looks quite fun. It's so that's why I a thought pretty fun deck. Yeah. And then obviously I've got Goblins and Burn, but Goblins isn't really a modern deck. It's more just a laugh. Yeah, and Goblins John is not good at the moment. Huh? John isn't good at the moment. It's a lot of money for not a good deck right now. And just bits and pieces I have lying around that basically. Well, when I say most of John, John bar the goifs. Okay. <laughs> and lilies. And lilies. <laughs> so like the most important parts yeah. of the John deck. Yeah. yeah. Still most. Which of I John. can lend you. To be yeah. fair. Yeah. I've got those that you can borrow. Well, Although tokens looked interesting as well. I tokens can lend you is... the entire deck. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm not tokens saying. is pretty sweet. Also, Eldrazi and Taxes, I had most of the cards anyway. Yes, because mm. you played Eldrazi in Standard. Because I played Eldrazi in Standard. You just needed Temple. Which I had. Yeah. Because I was starting to slowly put together yeah, Eldrazi yeah, yeah. and Modern when Eldrazi and Modern was broken. And everyone was like, I'm going to build this deck. And it was like, you realise it's getting banned in two months. No, I wasn't no gonna, it won't. Mm. I wasn't like going to build it, going to build it. But if like yeah. if it was in a trade and they had nothing else, uh, I'd take it. He's opened the compass. Come yeah, on. you play the compass. Yeah, like it's fine. Do you? Yeah, I don't. It's reasonable. Like, it's not a bad thing. End of turn, do this. Just it's a mana sink. Well, not mana sink. No, it's not a mana sink because it, it's a tap. Yeah. It's a, I leave up removal if they do nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'd just run 18 lands and, and blow it. You don't play 18 lands in this format. Well, I do if I've got you play 16 in, lands. Fat in. I play Obviously, 17. if I'm playing the low pirate No, no, no. You play 16 lads in this format. 16? Yeah. No, no. If you're playing the big dinosaurs, you play No, you play 16. I play 16. Same as before. 18. You play 16 because it's a first format. Not according to the tip card. I don't think the fixing... No, the tip card is the exact same regardless of the format. I haven't seen it all, but I don't think the fixing in this is very good. So I would be fixing tempted... Is a, fixing is better than you think in this format. Is it? I, I, I would be tempted I'd run 17 and if my lands and my mana curve looked fine then great if I thought it was sketchy in any way I'd put in the extra land of my most needed colour no you don't play oh did you hear about the there. theory behind this 
that some guy at Wizards had to spend weeks writing that. No, no, no. That there is a, some sort of kind of goddy pack type thing hidden in the crates somewhere. For what? They d- well, I don't know. But there's something to somewhere that's like... Yeah, it Someone said like, like maybe a Lotus, but I don't think... Gonna, uh, no, it will be like, no, it'll be like the what? first edition of Zendikar, where you could open jewels yeah, and that, power. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah, no, that's probably what they've done. That would fit with you yeah. know, the whole... Treasure kind of power it. beyond imagination yeah. mm, might be stretching that one a bit. I suspect it's a card. Um, no, I, I, yeah, would that's suspect, what <laughs> I would suspect that some of the cards available in the first actual boxes of Ixalan will have random cards like duels or candelabras in them, like cards from the original sets that were expensive, just like they did with the original Zender card. Why do you never get excited about anything? Why you because it's so better to <laughs> temper things with disappointment. <laughs> And never be surprised when it's not good. Is this is this like? Were you always like this? If you if you always <laughs> did something happen? No. If you always think if you always like a really jolly person thing, and you got diabetes no, and now you hate life. No, that made me happier. <laughs> um, if you look, always expect the worst, nothing can be a bad surprise. Well, that's a terrible outlook in life. It means that any time anything worse than the worst happens, I'm ecstatic. But how, like how is your life now. terrible? You live with Gareth. Maybe this is why I'm bad at magic, because I'm an insanely optimistic person. Well, so am I. And I'm just like, yeah, and you're both terrible. My, my Delver's going to flip. <laughs> it's no problem. <laughs> yeah, Jamie just sits there with Delver secrets in play, but doesn't have another side. It just oh, yeah. says Magic the Gathering on the back. So, yeah, I'll just play out this second Delver. I'm sure they're both going to flip next time. Have you ever <laughs> seen Jamie play Legacy? Delver is a 1 1, well, which makes him look at the card he's going to draw for the turn, put it back, and then draw that card. Yeah, that's all it does. I played Patrick once, and I couldn't flip them off a ponder. Wow, it's that's, like that's like curse. none of these. None of these are incidents or sorceries. It's fine. I'll shuffle. <laughs> yeah, none of these are incidents. Now I, I couldn't even shuffle. There was something I needed. Oh no! So go. whilst we've been talking, James is building what appears to be a blue white red deck. He's going Jess guy. What's the? Yeah, I have been paying attention. His his he has the red white flying I've just, dinosaur. I've just been disillusioned at George's. Outlook on life. He's got the blue white jewel. Yeah, which is called blue white jewel. Glacial fortress. Well done. He's got sky terror as well, which is actually pretty good. Two mana, two two flying menace. That's above curve. What do you want me to say? It's above curve. All right, Saki. I'm having to turn my hair. <laughs> Does that help? Yeah. You just turn the monitor. That, that, would, that, would the picture, that would help a lot. That would help a lot. We could rotate it's, the picture. It already needs to be, to be flipped, to be fair. Because look, it's pointing the wrong way. No, it's not. It is. You just pointed the correct way. No, but the hand goes the other way. It's just, it's just annoying. No, see, so you complain when it's both ways. So what you really want is no camera. No, I want to point this way and the camera to point that way. Instead of pointing over there. No, it's not pointing over there, though. It is pointing in the right direction. Mm, it's just terrible. mirrored, which is correct. No. That is what the camera sees. We, I, we obviously have from this angle we're going to see all his pool oh what's good that white dinosaur up there that's really good which one oh well, the, the uh, 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 uncommon it's a 3-3 three, three flyer for regal some mana but when it comes like in I think it gives a, another creature plus one plus one flying to them yes it does which is, regal agasaur or something yeah. like that you can, I was about to say it's going to have saw in its name which is great because it's got flying it's so kind it of twisting soar. in the air in a kind of yeah. a I'm about to lose what control and crash land horribly sort of way <laughs> But keep going, keep going. There, there you is. go. Imperial. Aerosol. It's kind of twisting yeah. through the air. It's, it's so twisting. Four mana, three, three, fire isn't bad. Yeah. No, that and is then when pretty... it comes in, you can make your. James six, six has times. completed his deck build, so I will go and bring him through. For Excellent, because we actually want to see what he got, rather than just speculating from afar. Speculating from afar. I think I can see the blue plus two plus two enchantment. Oh, I'm flying. Yeah. That's a fantastic uh, card. Yeah. It was great in Ashton Absolutely Ashton. amazing. He needs to cheer up. Yeah, he does. He does. Like, you know, I know he was born with that face, but... <laughs> you think he would have come to terms with it by now? Yeah. Yeah, no, we need we need to cheer George up at some stage. That's, that's on my list of things to do tangible. shortly after finishing the bathroom. Which is never going to be finished. Right? It's never going to be finished. You're going to move out before then. Well, I keep That's my coming plan. here to do things on Saturdays instead. <laughs> so. 
What is this? Right, it's well, it's not even a pocket. I, I you let. Can't even put anything in it. I let Richard have the bag. I didn't. Yeah, he he took the bag. I I was quite desperate for that because it was a good solid box. I think we only got one of them in the last pack as well, so we shared it out. But Richard, I wanted took, to try these out because I heard they were good. They're pretty good. It's a bit awkward to get your stuff in, um, but once it's in, it is secure. And I've, like I said, I've dropped it twice and it doesn't seem to care. So not really sure. What I'm gonna I do don't know. Anything with them. But yeah. Yeah, congratulations, Sean. Well done. Yeah. yeah according to George, I would have given it to Yeah. Well, Salty, isn't it? Salt yeah, in. you get used to that. It's all right. I brought a replacement, George, anyway, so it's fine. He had to play eight rack last night, so it's probably a little bit, you know. <laughs> That's a negative effect on everyone. Right. Did you know, have you ever known George to be happy? I don't know what's going on with him and that lady. I don't know if I can bring it up. On I wouldn't bring it up on stream. Justin, I could do if he goes a bit pear shaped. <laughs> Hello, James. Oh. Come on in. Don't you remember mine? Anyway. So, James has the cards that he's, he's sleeping definitely, and this is the rest of his pool. Okay, so let's have a look at the rest of pool. Drink. Rest of pool. Oh, God, I, I, it started so well. I got a mythic. You know, hey. Yeah. yeah. I know you don't rate it, but <laughs> no, don't get me wrong. Oh, water, please. I think if you had the right situation, it'd be great. But I just, I couldn't. I played it once yesterday, and it just. I mean, it, like like George said, it I did just, what it did. It sucked up two turns of attacks. But I mean, it didn't. It, worst case, it's, it's a grey ogre. Like you get a two-two for three. Yeah. And then they've also got another thing they have to deal with. Yeah. You've got two trilobites. Right, you're, you you're, you're, a oh, you're a judge. You're a judge, right? Yes. So, doubling season, Jace. Yes. Right. So Jace comes in. Yes. You can instantly ultimate make two more Jaces, mm -hmm. which you can yes. instantly ultimate. Yes, you can. Would you DQ me for doing that? Why would you get DQ'd for doing that? Apparently, it doesn't extend the uh, board state, and George would DQ. Uh, if you have a way to use those Jaces, for example, making a million tutus that stick around, then yeah. that's advancing the board state by making a million yeah. tutus. No, apparently George just DQs you if you do that. Real judge. <laughs> no comment. Wise. <laughs> uh, no love for the Pterodon Knight. No, yeah. that that Not made it, that dinosaurs. made it that made it in there. There was there's going to be a couple of dinosaurs in the deck. Yeah. Did you get the six six trampler? No. No. Oh. I got I got to get I think my green's terrible. There's like right. a drover of the mighty. Really and so what you got then? Let's have a look. At okay, what you, got. you have got All some right. stuff. So um, I've got myself a slash of talents. Don't like the card. Think it's terrible. Yeah. It's getting in there because so, I have no. Slash turns one one deals two damage to target attack and a blocking creature. It's removal. It yeah it's it's bad. Yeah. I have a copy of Opt. Yep. Yeah. So I have three colours. Got to so have that. Yeah, draw yep. cards. Got my pre release promo, Thematic Compass. Yeah. Yep. It's going to get me some basic lands, fix my three colour deck, and then it's going to be a mirror of uh, Maze Vith on the back side. Yeah. Yep. And I, if you're going three colours, I kind of. I'm not keen on that, but yeah, three colours I would play. I mean, and if I've got seven lands already, it just flips. Yeah. It's just a Maze I like it. I like it. It's. It, it's. Well, we can, we can agree to differ. I have two copies of Nest Robber. I'm a little bit dodgy on Which these. Which one's Nest Robber? Sorry. It's a 2 1 with haste. It's a dinosaur. Dinosaur. 2 1 with it, haste on 2. It's stealing fine. dinosaur. I'm. Yeah. I mean, don't it's, it, the, rate, the rate's not wrong. It's just. I there's don't, a lot of 2 drops, and I think you yeah. need them to keep. Although, although if you sit the down with someone who's got a wall of 2 drops, you're just going to lose. So <laughs> I, 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 I would definitely have them. The problem is, there's just so many great blockers in this format. That's what yeah. I found last night. You just run <laughs> it's into a 1 wall. 7 dinosaur for like 4. Yeah, yeah. Great, great. They play that, and I get 4 7. Yeah, it's not good. I've got a Stormfy Aerialist. Um, one, two, with Raid and Flying. Yeah, yeah. he's can be a two, three. fairly straightforward. Yeah. Shipwreck Looter, another two, one for two. Ugh. I'm not, I'm not lying. I'm not fond of that. Yeah, I played that as a curve filler. Yeah, it's, 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 I'm, like, I'm, I'm still thinking about some of the other cards in this pile here. Yeah. Stormfleet Spy, like this card, it was really good for me last night. It's a two, two for three with Raid, uh, and it draws, a, if I've attacked, I draw a card. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, that's good. Uh, Sailor of Means, pretty good against me. Also, really good against my two ones. It's a one four, and when it comes into the battlefield, I get a treasure. So, ramps you a bit. Yeah. Fixes your mana. Yeah, a bit of fixing probably required. 
Uh, Legion's Judgment. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. Yep. Good. I got s- destroyed by that. Well, I'm not yep. destroyed. One of those. Um, I had with that. Fire Cannon Blast. Uh, two red and one. Three damage to target creature or six if I attacked. Yeah. So I might have to throw away some of my dorks. But I, can, but then that's I actually kind of have answers for fallen. big creatures now. Uh, Jace Cunning Castaway. He makes a 2-2 and then he's a planeswalker for 3 mana. I'm sure he's fine. I probably just didn't use him properly. Or just didn't have the opportunity to use yeah. him properly. I mean, if you're under a lot of pressure, he's probably not that great. On the other hand, if play him on empty board turn 3... Yeah. I mean, he soaked up sick damage and maybe yeah. a 2-2. So. Depths of Desire. Bounce a creature, make fantastic a treasure. Fantastic card. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Very fantastic good. card. Speaking of fantastic cards. Captivating Cree. Threaten on a stick. Sorry, I've just seen yeah. what's coming next and I hate that card. That card Korean yesterday Corner was a good Siren. Card. Yeah. Me so well, many good. Pro- I mean, it was all right for me yesterday. It was fine. Uh, it was it was just a three three flyer, which is you know, well, it would have been better if my opponent realised that he could have uh, targeted my illusion and made it go away. Yeah, that, but that he would didn't. Have <laughs> uh, Pious interdiction, expensive pacifism, but I gain two life. Yeah, and it's removal, and it's yeah. yeah. Uh, Ixland's binding. Uh, same thing basically again, put something yeah. in the box they can't play it ever again yeah. there's not that much enchantment removal there's a couple in green I mean there's a bit of a problem you'll notice here I'm, I'm getting to the fourth drops and I'm, I'm yeah. sort of there are many of them this one's quite good though advances blasting cannons it's very good basically draw two cards a turn and yeah. then turns into and a lightning bolt and stick yeah lightning bolt and a stick on the other side yeah. so I've got I've got two of those lands so I've got theoretically run aground great, great card um, put four mana put an artifact or creature on top of its owner's library. I destroyed Jeremy Fantastic. with that card yesterday. Yeah. Look how neat I've been, and then look at what James has done. Yeah. One with good. the wind is one of the. This card I probably want to cut. Really? It's, it's an aura, but it's also gives something plus two plus two. It's flying. Great. I know, but it's an aura. Like, you get blown out. Uh, three three flying dinosaur gives something great. plus one and plus one and flying when it enters. Great card. Good thing to get in the last bit of damage. Right? Uh, a f- another four drop. Gosh, I have a lot of four drops. Uh, Steadfast Armasaur. Uh, two, three Vigilance that also can nug something attacking or blocking. Yeah. For two damage. Fantastic. And then topping it off with a five mana four, four that makes person sacrifice a permanent. Yeah. Cool. That is good. That is good. So what... Let's have a look. So you got some good black oh, no, cards. There's some more right stuff in there. Yeah, and you got a couple of uh, nice bits of green. What, what do you like in the black then? So what's what? I mean, I, I quite like Wanted Scoundrels. I think that's a reasonable card. Well, the, the, if, you, have you read the, have you read the flavor what? text on Wanted Scoundrels? It's a bit of a clue. Yeah, but it's not worth it. No, but I I think a lot of this is going to be if it, uh, I, I think the two drops are quite important because yeah. there's are, a lot drops, of them. Two drops are always important, but the problem is that is going to trade. Off on maybe turn four, three, four. Yeah, yeah it's and but it's going to trade four stuff, and it's a four. It, well, yeah, three. but then so they're going to they? get two treasures, and then they're going to play their like six or seven drop on turn four, and you're going to be dead. Mm. It's 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 not worth it. Like it's I not really, worth the sorry, risk. I just really like the artwork on the new dress. Yeah, no, I that's great. Really like um, well, maybe none of the one in there can see it, but I like this look out <laughs> dispersal. Sorry, like counter spell. I think it can be cheap. I like the hard removal. I don't there mind, is some decent I don't hard mind removal. the two two flyers. You got spreading rock, which is just funny. Yeah, it's, it's not good. No, but it's funny. Oh, uh, for fixing, I have this glacial fortress, which is yeah. convenient. Yeah. And I don't and know if I territory. Well, I've got a few pirates. I don't know if I'm going to play it. Mm. I don't know if I can afford the colorless source for my other spells. I have pirates and three two colors. But I, th- I think I probably have to not run it. Yeah, you've got a fair whack of pirates. You've got, what, four dinosaurs? Four dinosaurs, yeah. Your green's not that bad. Um, It's pretty bad. Like, it's got a mana dork. It's got a couple it's got a of... fog. It's got two fogs that give hexproof. Mm. I'd play one of them. Wouldn't play two. I mean, I, I think my deck is fine. It just doesn't you have You've got the 9-9. Nine, nine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, if I can ramp to eight mana, I can I can get there. Not bad. Mm-hmm. So you got demolish, which is a good sideboard if you have anyone that starts to throw random annoying artifacts at you. Um, that's not very good. So oh, I've just got to work out. That's not very good. How many planes I need to play? Awesome. Didn't fancy swashbuckling. 
Wait, where's Swashbuckle? Plus oh, two, plus no, two haste. Definitely not. Is it because it's an aura? Because it's an aura, and it's not nearly as good as the one that gives evasion. It, it's True. Right, like, but it's called Swashbuckle. It's called Swashbuckle. <laughs> fantastic name. The, car, the card I was saddest to see mm. is, was the uh, one black uh, plus one, plus one, minus one, minus one card. That was so good yesterday. Yeah, yeah I like the, um, the combat trick, you mean? Yeah, the combat yeah, trick. Yeah, that's it's, brilliant. Brilliant card. I've forgotten what it's called. Oh, uh, yeah, so have I. <laughs> I don't know. I'm. I still like the scoundrels. I mean, there's nothing that says you have to play it on turn two, and it's a four three that you can drop later. If I, if it looks like your opponent, or your opponent's struggling on lands, yeah, sure, maybe you don't play it. But I just think that's I, that's I, got I value the attached. Downside. I mean, it's don't get me wrong. In the super late game, it is. It's pretty good. But at that point, you've got the mana to cast your four three for a fair price anyway. I, mm, true. I, I just think if you ever play that on turn as your two drop, I think you're, I think there's a lot of people not going to be running things. I mean, you've got the um, ancient vegetarian. Lo- lots, uh, of, lots of people were running that last night. Were they? Yeah. Oh, okay. And casting it like the, the format is looks like it's like so slow go, enough that you can you can get away really? with it. Okay, in maybe sealed at least. Maybe that's where yeah. I'm wrong. Then I was thinking it was going to be fairly it's quick if it didn't though. sort of stagnate yeah, in the board. Still, my my so sideboard's got, pretty sweet. Catley, to Catley, to Catley. Yeah, I don't know. If you on the DTB plan, I can yeah. stop that. Also, I found another way to wind up George. Oh, say please. Erratid. Erratid. Yeah. Erratid. Yeah. Erratid. He doesn't them. doesn't like that. No, he gets them completely off the. So you're going to you're going to cram that into. He's already threatened to kick me off the stream. Do you do you want me to tell you who's playing a hostage taker in their deck so you can have hostage taker <laughs> on the stream every time? <laughs> yeah, that might be good. It's got Ryle. I have a rile, but I don't I have a so have, have no there, There's nothing to combo with. No. There's no enrage in the entire no. pool. I was just saying that flavour-wise, I think that's my favourite. It's think, great. I think, I like, I think <laughs> function-wise, it's, it's, it's a really good, exciting yeah, it's good. I think yeah. you're definitely the right way, looking at what you've got. Yeah, I think so. You've you mean, got a couple is, of nice bits in black, but not enough to pull you in, I don't think. It would Black would have been if a removal suite, really. Yeah, it? if you had a couple of more bits of removal. You've got the Warp of Clank. You've got a bit of Sky March Blood Letters, but... Yeah, I'm not sure about some of the others. Vanquish the weak. I do like the Drover of the Mighty. I think that's a good card. It's a really good yeah. card. I, I saw Two that and I thought three, that that's why I looked at green quite yeah. early because I thought well, there are some. There's, yeah. just not there's a there's yeah. You see, what I mean, the, the, you play these sort of things in the standard deck, and it's all ramp and all sorts. Of yeah, absolutely, it's just fantastic. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, James actually, he's been brewing that way more than anyone else, I think. I mean, he, for he standard? Was, he was telling me yesterday oh, how good the dinosaur, dinosaur stand was. Yeah. I've been playing it online and it's... I, I wouldn't describe it as... like I don't know if it's going to be top tier, but it's you can do some scary things. There's, there's sort of effectively 12, maybe... 16 mana dorks you can put in the deck that make your dinosaurs cheaper. You can you can run out your Regisaur off from turn 3 quite happily and then follow up immediately with a Carnage Tyrant. I know it's going to be good because George has slated it so that generally means it's going to be a fantastic deck. <laughs> I still remember him thinking Abzan was a terrible, terrible Lots of people hated Terrible Abzan deck. for a long time. It was like it was never going to do anything. I managed to play it for what year and a half plus, and, and was quite, quite was happy. With, one of the <laughs> most quite happy with all of its incarnations. One of the most dominant decks. Yeah, it just didn't go. So away. Abzan's dead. No, it's back again. Yeah. Abzan's dead again. Just didn't no, go it's away. Still there. <laughs> Although I have are, to are say, you disparaging I... the predictive powers of. Uh, what well, I do? No, no, I no, no. Generally... I just say it's easy. To... I, I, I am. I, I, I thought Siege Rhino was. All right. <laughs> uh, I, I, rem- I remember looking at it and saying, "Yeah, no, it's, it's a good card, but you know." Yeah. Oh, that's, right. this, this, this treasure map is not in my pool. It's also not good. No cutting. This treasure map. It's not in my pool. Turns into a black lotus. It's the yeah. one that turns into a thing that you can sack. But you, yeah. after seven turns, Ugh. you will have scryed and invested in like eight mana. You will have scryed three times and drawn three cards. Ooh. Sounds good. Yeah. Re- 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 <laughs> Rewarding. Uh, I'd say the only card I really missed from that Abzan deck that I just loved playing with was Sorin, the four mana Sorin. I love that Sorin. Was He's super so ultimate in him. That was that was enough for me. I was just so happy days. That's another reason why I think I want to play the Eldrazi deck, is because it's in the colours that I could just put a Sorin in the sideboard. Just play tokens. Tokens you get to run through them. 
Yeah, but George loves tokens, so I'm going to play tokens. <laughs> tokens is good. It's a good I deck. Know, I know he also good likes land to control, which I think would make me want to shoot myself. You can, yeah, you can, you can, you can I don't play prison. Prison, prison. I mean, prison doesn't usually splash black. But let's you, you, let's not play prison. That's just no. <laughs> so, so much fun. Oh no, for for, for one, one for one person. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I could play that deck. I could enjoy that deck. But yeah, to sit down in front of it is just that's the And also, elves in the format, and elves is not a good matchup. <laughs> also, interestingly, um, I was looking at some of the builds of Eldrazi Death and Taxes online actually. Yep. And none of them play fetch lands. Did they not? No. Well, you don't want to be caught by your own arbiters. Your own. Yeah, uh, I, I can see so. that. I thought arbiter was going to be expensive. No. No. There's many, many printings of that card. No. But, uh, oh, there's a combo with one of these ca cards in this set and Arbiter. I can't, oh, it's not really a combo, but I saw someone, I think it was MTG Goldfish, was saying, you know, you've got the land that you pay to, you tap it, destroy, you yeah, yeah. land, search for land. It's like, well, if you play that with Arbiter out. Yeah, you get to search. They, you get well, to. Actually, you have to pay to search yeah. as well. It's like it just killed the land. No one gets. A, and I was like, well, it's not. No. You know what's, you know what's even better? Wasteland, really, Just Ghost Quarter. Because yeah, then you don't have to pay, and it's exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Basically, yeah. But uh, cool. So you you're vaguely happy with your pool? I'd be vaguely no, happy. No, I'm with not that. happy with my. Oh, pool. But you're never happy. I'm never happy with yeah, my I'd pool. Be, I'd like, be happy I, with that. when I look at a deck, I look at all its flaws, and the flaw of this deck is that everything in it costs four mana. Mm. Which is not as bad in sealed as it but would this, be in draft. I didn't really see. Or can see there is an aggressive deck, but I don't think there's a massive aggressive. Deck. I mean, the deck I played it's last night was it's gonna be a red white very aggressive. aggressive. Um, it was blue black flyers, and it starts attacking on turn two. And if it stopped attacking, it was dead. Yeah. Um, the vampire deck actually is, is relatively aggressive. Yeah, that's well. it is. I don't think the vampire deck is very good though. Oh, it, it, if you get the right, well, it's not the same as anything. But the, I mean, yeah. the the right couple of commons and uncommons, and, and maybe the right rare, and that thing's brutal. Yeah, sure. It looks to me like it 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 goes low and fast, and then stalls, and then you're relying on seeing cards to drain them out. Yeah. In a very aristocrats kind of. Yeah. But by yeah, then, I, you're I, like I a ton of life. You will be on a lot of life, but if someone has played their, you know, their a lot of three, four dinosaurs and a big six, six dinosaur, then that's kind of like a turning point for you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It look it looks cool, but um. Yeah, I'm mainly put off by the fact that all the vampires are Spanish now. I think that's a little bit. <laughs> it's a Do you bit know what? weird. I didn't see it. Weird. They are literally that. all all, con 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 all Catholic yeah. conquistadors, conquistadors coming to the shores of Ixalan <laughs> with their <laughs> weird ideas. But they all, all every every bit of artwork looks Spanish. All the dinosaurs mm -hmm. look like they're from Pandora, uh, the film Avatar. Uh, Merfolk, I was saying to Kieran, Merfolk seem very confused and on this plane have started acting a lot like elves do everywhere else. They're all green and they all do kind of elfy things. They really do do elves. It's, it's weird. But it's a little, little bit of a twist. And then the pirates are just kind of, they're just pirates. They're just rolling around with treasure. Disappointed to see uh, rum not referenced in any card anywhere. Well, they, they can't. They can't, they can't, they can't, they can't but encourage drinking in the children's card game. Well, no, I'm not encouraging. You bring in a card that says, you know... Well, Go home. Play Rome, three turns later, flip this card, you lose the game. <laughs> yeah, but you'll get a good And your driving you license. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And none of them, license. there's no card called Yo Ho Ho. There is, is no card called Yo Ho Ho. Um, that's true. Maybe in the next set. Okay, yeah. so sideboard cards. I've got a, for sideboarding, I'm thinking I want to take out, I'm, the most likely things I'm going to want to take out are slasher towns if they're playing nothing but big creatures. Yeah. If they're also, I think in a lot of matchups, Nest Robber is just going to be dreadful. But I, I, so I, I'm thinking this just because it's a more defensive two drop. Mm. Like, yes, it's, it's not good. No, like, but I'm, I'm not in a good place. I'm thinking Storm Sculptor because it can't be blocked. Yeah, that seems real good. There's another four drop though. It is another four drop. <laughs> Hence, it's placed in the board. And then you, yeah. Hence, why this four mana five five is in the board. Yeah, yeah. And then the enchantment hate. Yeah, because um, I have to mystify. Yeah, which is good because yeah. I, I played against a guy with white, obviously the, the vampire guy. Yeah. Most of his removal was enchantments. Yeah. Really? And because a lot of my stuff had explore and things like that, you're like, boom, ooh. Yeah. I'm not going to main. So it's actually one of the few things I've actually been sideboarding in enchantment hate and things like that. Okay. But again, 
Each pre-release has its own meta, doesn't it? Yeah. Thinking about the Lumi or Tarissal, another four drop. It is a, a, a roadblock, isn't he? He's four a... drop, one seven. Yeah. There's not much that it's gets George through that. George working the room, do you think? Uh, George has gone off to find water and, yeah, deserted us. So, yeah. That's, that's, that's my deck. Interesting. Well, good luck. Soon we'll Thank find you out. I'm sure you do well. If you make uh, any changes or anything, I mean, we'll have, probably have you on for the first uh, game. So if anything sort of pops in your head while you're there, be sure to mention it when you come back. and we'll see if you make any changes as you go. And uh, open up the winner's bag because we know what's in it now. You get two boulder boxes. Yep. A plastic box. Two things of 80 sleeves of those two slate. A lanyard and two stickers. And a bag. You got two stickers. When I won one stickers. of those, I only got one sticker. Uh, no. <laughs> but everything else is the same. You have to go again today. These, these are yours as well, aren't they? They are. Uh, is there anything else in here I was interested in? Demolish? No. No. Uh, maybe. No. Take out their guy's cradle. True. Someone guys cradles you, they kind of just the amount of loops they have to jump through to get it out, they yeah, kind of yeah, deserve yeah. to win. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, by that point, they've played their four creatures, they yeah, don't exactly. have any more creatures to play. Yeah. I think. Hello! Hi. Returned. I've done my rounds around the, Thank you very much. the room. There are several Jaces. Several Jaces? Yeah, Jaces. Jace's yeah. Jace not the mythic. Jace isn't uncommon, from what I've seen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, have you seen many of those? I green don't like format him. Make a land an elemental. Because really, we saw sort of load those loads of them last time. Ian has the Savage Tyrant. Oh God. Uh, Ian South? No, not Ian South. Um, Canadian Friar. No. Yeah. Beard. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ian Arnold. Yeah. No, no. Ian okay. Friar. <laughs> Friar. Yeah. Basically. Um, then, yeah. Uh, Catherine has oh, got Jesus. a sweet dinosaur deck. I have sweet. Oh, Charles. It's Charles. Yeah. Um, there are some sweet days out there. Is Charles still in Japan? Yes. Yeah. I would also point out that pirate deck in Holland got two owed. He lost <laughs> with his 11 great pirates, seven great removal spells, and out really? siege. He got ruined. And Reese is now playing against him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was like, Reese is either going to go 0 2 and drop and go home, or he's going to just ruin the guy. He's going to go, 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 go 0 2. Go all the, the tribal stuff you can put together, I no, think pirate is my least fun. favourite. Yeah, oh, I, don't, I don't like vampires that much. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, no, I think folk. I think look strong, and I like. I think Tessa has got a lot of vampires, but also pirates and dinosaurs because there's just not enough. Yeah, yeah. like vampires. Um, I think is the weakest generally. But yeah, is it has the potential to be the strongest. It has a, a lot. Of you have to enough. be super lucky in your pool, but if you're super lucky, you'll just wreck face. Mm. What's this? So I'm back in, back in October. Wait, it's it is how September, so that's fine. Oh, is he, he? I don't suppose he's anywhere near the <clears throat> issues that are going on over there. Probably not. There. In Japan, there yeah. aren't any issues. Yes, there are. Just right. every now and again, they are shooting stuff Ooh. over them. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen that. Like, yeah. Someone said there was a guy, and the TV turned itself on to warn him about it. Mm -hmm. That's and what he got really upset. Yeah, he wanted to just. I just kept trying to turn it off and get back to bed. Yeah, you can't. It's an emergency problem. That's how happens in South Korea. But then, wow. so I kind of got his point. Because if it happens, if it happens, and you, is, you know, you're not going to be able to save yourself. Yeah, you can. They have, they have insane shelters. bunkers over there and stuff that are so far underground it doesn't matter. But I don't think he knew where they were. So I think he just went to bed. The TV tells you. Oh, does it? Yeah, it tells the TV you tells you exactly what to do. Yeah, but I can't Hence why it Japanese. doesn't turn off. No, they broadcast it in all languages. Well, what? So it would just sound like a huge babble. No, so it would just like in Japanese and then it would repeat in English and then go on in Japanese and repeat in English. Yeah, but then you've got to hang on and wait. And well, you know, turn on what subtitles. Subtitles. Oh, I don't want to do that reading. Uh, that's up north in Hokkaido and yeah, he's in Tokyo, Tokyo right now. The other end of Japan. He's Sweet. super far away, but they're not just going to hit Hokkaido. Uh, <laughs> Hokkaido no, is like the least well, populated part the moment, of Japan. At the moment, the main threat is that they'll test their hydrogen bomb on a missile and it will go wrong and instead yeah. of flying well, over that, Hokkaido, the it'll drop on. It just happens near the Fukushima plant again. I mean, that's another problem. That, that just happened. That, that's, 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 it's really good. I can imagine Japan being relatively calm and chilled about it though. So. Yeah, I mean they're more worried about Mothra and Godzilla. It's fine. <laughs> wow. wow! Wow! I imagine Charles is probably a bit closer to that considering he's in Tokyo. I really want to go to Tokyo. It looks amazing. So do I, but it's also like super populated. 
I'd love to take Johnny that's Ames down it, because he doesn't like tall buildings. <laughs> and by tall buildings, I mean buildings above three to four stories. That's why he's in Norfolk. <laughs> Flat and well spaced. I took him to London and he nearly died. Well, Japan's definitely on my bucket list. No, I'd like to go to Japan. Yeah. It's definitely on my bucket list. A couple of things I, I want to do see. South Korea. And North Korea. Yeah. Everyone here calls it the North Korean alarm clock. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Since, since nice Mr. Kim sent all of the salary men a nice wake up call at 7 a.m. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. That's oh. time on deck building. Yeah, time on deck building. Time, time on deck building. James may be on camera. I also like how you didn't move off onto the boot camp at all. Um, yeah, you, you, you just had all the, the, ca- all the cars that I show you hold it's up. It's a good point. It's yeah. a good point. We really do. Well, that's why you needed to be here to do the technology thing. It's yeah. going to be really good considering that I need to go get food. And you guys are doing round one. Why? Because then I'm doing all of the rounds after that. Mm. Awesome. What time does the chip get? Uh, I round like reasonably around when we have a lunch break oh, okay. after round two. Like it'll definitely be open by then. It'll be fine. Mm. So you call to go and get that on lunch. It will be open. And, Superb. But yeah, so you may be on camera. However, there are some. There are a number of under 16s oh. who aren't allowed on camera. Went two like to two at here. the. Uh, so okay. you will probably be on oh, camera. Oh, that sucks. Unless I am playing against one of the kids. Sure. Pretty. What? Pretty Not enough removal, format, in my opinion. Um, well, I've got tons of removal. I've just depends. can't wait know. to draft though. That's interesting. So yeah, well, good seal doesn't mean bad limited. It only means really yeah. good draft. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, this yeah. is a bad sealed deck because everything costs four. Well, next uh, Friday is the draft day, isn't it? That's when every everyone always drafts. The first. No, I'm going to be playing a deck that doesn't have Blood Moon in because of the new rules change and the fact I need practice for Madrid. But What's wrong with Blood Moon now? They've changed how Blood Moon makes the moon interact with Lance I thought they better. Field. It does, but it also means people don't have to pay two life for Mountain. They just get that off they the shotgun. They just get the Mountain. Just comes in as a Mountain. Cost. I always yeah. thought you should have done that anyway. That's why they changed it. Well done. Yeah. yeah I don't yeah. because it doesn't say when it's like you may pay two life to have this enter untapped. Yeah. Is how it's supposed to be. Oh, you, yeah. There you go. Right, good luck, buddy. Thank you for coming in and sharing. I'll also find out who we've got. Didn't prepare for the microphone. Boop, boop. So, right. So, it's not even round one, and we've already made one professional muck up. So, that's good. That's a good start. That's, yeah, I don't know. I saw the little print out in the bottom, and I just assumed that the rest of the world could see us in whole screen glory. I don't know. I have no idea how you work any of this, and. No real interest in playing out. You've got a mouse, haven't you? All danger. What's he saying? Use Not enough removal, pretty yawn. Can't wait to draft a tribal set in sealed. Yeah, it's all gone very tribal. Mm. Uh, that's, again, that's where people's downfall in this is going to be is going, I want to play on the pirates. And you play the really terrible ones. Yeah, I don't. You get smashed. I don't think you can fall in on that. Simon yesterday was like, I just want to play dinosaurs. And I was like, Yeah, you went 03. There are some nice synergies. I mean, if you get all the vampires and the lifelink and all the abilities you can pay life for, then yeah, fair enough. Yeah, but nice things, you, yeah. I just went with, I want to play the good cards on curve. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the way forward. That's what, that's what yeah. I did. Yeah. I think the merfolk look like they're, they're really the quite rewarded for staying yeah. tight because there's a lot of things like the plus one on a target creature, plus one on a merfolk as well. Yeah, so you just get that's pretty plus sweet. Um, but yeah, I don't know. If I got a 6-6 six, six dinosaur, I'd still welly it in. Yeah, massive Dino Bomb. Dino Bombs. Yeah. yeah. 11 11 Trample Dinosaurs won four games for me. One of them was flying. Yeah. Yeah, there's a big element of, of luck, especially with the the car combos, the synergies. And it's the same, we say this every time we've done this, but it's going to be. There's an element of luck in as much as there are some great cards out there. If you put the great cards in the hands of the good players, <laughs> you know, that's, that's kind of game. So but we should. How do we? That's booth cam. 